And here we go once again, ladies and gentlemen, from Madison Square Garden, New York City. Ten rounds of boxing this in the Super Welterweight Division. Promoted by Triple G Promotions, Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing USA and World of Boxing. Your three judges scoring at ringside, John Basile, Larry Hazard Jr., and Waleska Roldan. When the action begins inside the ring, your referee in charge, Sean Clark. Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trimmed in gold. He weighed in officially 152 and three quarter pounds. This 36 fight veteran holds a professional record of 24 victories, 12 defeats, 13 wins coming by way of knockout desde Monterrey, Nuevo León, Mexico, presentando Norberto Demonio And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trimmed in gold, weighed in officially 153 and one quarter pounds. This rising super welterweight has two professional bouts, two victories, both wins coming by way of knockout from Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Here is the dream, Israel Madrid! Huh? All right, fellas, y'all had your instructions in the dress room. Protect the Mende, Toto or Mento. Protect yourself at all times. Toka loose, touch them up. Sergio, is this going to be a blink and you miss it type of fight? No, I don't think so. Uh, going to, well, you know what, maybe, because uh, nine, nine days ago, that's, that's very difficult for any fighter to come back from. But Gonzalez has been in there with world-class fighters. The only two boxers to stop, stop him are Terrell Ge Geisha and Jamal Charlo. Yeah, but a dream off. Seconds out! Is a bulldozer. Watch Box. his left hand. He fights orthodox, but switches to southpaw. He's wearing the white trunks. Gonzalez in the black and gold. A dream off, one of Triple G's favorite fighters. Says he patterns his style after Golovkin. Dreamoff scored a very scary knockout in his last outing. You were there. You called it, Sergio. A one-punch KO over Frank Rojas. It was brutal, brutal left hook. Scary type of knockout. They had to carry Rojas out in a stretcher. And we asked him about that punch. He said, I didn't even try to punch him, Art. And that's exactly what you want to hear, because you never try to put too much power in a punch. It just comes naturally. And Madrimov landed that picture-perfect left hook. Yeah, Madrimov says, oh, there's a right hand. He says he's almost intimidated by his own power, because he's, he said he dropped five or six sparring partners leading into this fight. He said, I've got to take it easier on guys, but that's hard for me to do. No, his trainer, Joel Diaz, told us that they can't find sparring partners. Partners, They look all over Southern California. No one wants to spar them. They even look at uh, middleweights and super middleweights, and they're having a hard time. So that's how heavy his hands are. Well, Gonzalez should give him somewhat of a test. 36 professional fights, 13 wins. He's 38 years old. He knows his way around the squared circle. Exchange jabs here midway through round one. A dream off a very decorated amateur as a lot of fighters that come out of Eastern Europe are. 335 and 20. Sergio, he had over 350 amateur bouts. Now it's incredible. He really is an incredible boxer, too. You're not seeing it right here because he's being the pressure puncher, but he's an elusive fighter. He's, he's very unique. Heavy hands, but he has beautiful footwork. And even though he's 24 years old, they've got him on a fast track. Don't be surprised if you see him in a world title fight sometime next year. That's what they want. Right here, he's attacking the body of Gonzalez because he knows that when it comes to tough, oh. tough op opponents like this, it's the body that's going to do it. Gonzalez nodded his head to say, yep, you got me. A dream off is always just one punch away from ending it. 
from any angle. That's the dangerous part. He can be softball. He can be orthodox. He can be off balance. That's how athletic he is. He don't like the body work. Keep working the body. When he does this, go body and then go up. You're gonna catch him with the right. Also, hey, also faith and right hand, okay? It's a short little right hand that Madrimov landed right on the chin of Gonzalez. Gonzalez took it well. I think we're gonna see a lot more of those. Joel Diaz is asking this man, throw more of those short little right hands. And I can see them landing again. You're doing good. You're doing good, Isra. Yeah, yeah. The body, the body, and then go. Box! Joel Diaz telling Madrimov, go low, meaning to the body, and then come upstairs with the right hand. I love trainers that will be very specific tell you exactly what to do as opposed to work the body, you know, go upstairs. He's giving him exact directions. Now, when it comes to Joel Diaz, trainers like him and Robert Garcia, I mean, they, they know their men so much, they don't need to instruct them too much. It's just A, B, C, do this, do that, and get out of there. We are rolling on towards Steve Rolls tonight versus Triple G. That's our main event. Main card starts at 9 p.m. Eastern exclusively on DAZN. Download the DAZN app or go to DAZN.com right now. Over 100 fights a year for less than 100 bucks. Dream off, as I mentioned, an extensive amateur record, but he also had six fights in the quasi-professional World Series of Boxing back in 2017 and 2018. In fact, he was he was labeled the MVP of WSOP. And you can see why. I mean, it's, he's very elusive. He's very gifted. But when it comes to veterans like Gonzalez, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be hard to take him out. You gotta set those punches up. I would like to see. Madrimov throw jabs to the to the stomach to set up those over overhand rights and lefts. That dropped Gonzalez's hands are right to the body. That's what his trainer Diaz wanted him to do. Start to the body and then come upstairs with the right. But a veteran like Gonzalez sometimes knows what's coming. Oh, absolutely. I like that right hand that Madrimov threw right there. Gonzalez blocked it, but he didn't like it. Gonzalez not sitting down on his punches at all. Defense is the first priority for him against this guy, Madrimov. Madrimov took a Euro step there, coming in like a European basketball player. A good one two there for Gonzalez. Break! My break. My break. Ten seconds here in round number two. Ha! Okay? Combinations. You gotta work some combinations inside. Okay? And close the gap on them. Don't give them distance. Hey, jab! Jab! One, two, boom! Three, let's go! Here, Alex. Box! Round three scheduled for 10. And stamina doesn't figure to be an issue from a dream off. He was scheduled for a 10 rounder in his pro debut, Sergio. <laughs> That's incredible. No, it's very athletic. And they, they really want to move him fast, but 
They really got to concentrate on fighting guys like this more often because, look, Gonzalez is going to be in there. He's going to give them rounds. You can't just take them out. It's opponents like this, they're going to make a fighter like Madrima even more special. Tight defense again from the demon, Roberto Gonzalez. The 38-year-old fighting on nine days' notice. Or actually, he's fighting nine days after he had another fight in Mexico. Incredible stuff. Eight-round decision win over Alberto Pacheco. A dream off fighting for only the third time as a pro. Nice little combination there by Gonzalez. Not putting much power behind him, but still scoring. Every punch Madrimov throws, it's with vicious intent. Roberto Gonzalez playing slap and tickle with his combinations. <laughs> yeah, we asked uh, Joel Diaz, Madrimov's coach, and he said, man, I, the thing about Uzbekistan fighters, they love Mexican style. They like coming forward and putting that pressure, going to the body. I have to remind Madrimov to box and use his skill, use his angles and style. I'm trying to get him to improve, but they just love to get in there and bang away. Right here, we see Madrimov turning southpaw. <laughs> Cutting off the ring of that southpaw angle. So he must see something in Gonzalez. If he can't land in the orthodox stance, he's switching southpaw, maybe from the left hand stance. Nice shot there for Gonzalez. Maybe his best punch of the fight. Yeah, and he caught Madrimov coming in. Break, well, break, timing break, beats break, we speed, Sergio, but what beats power? Speed. Speed beats everything. But number one is technique. If you don't have the technique, then the other two don't matter. Well, so far, Gonzalez has been a tough puzzle for Madrimov to figure out. Looping left hook. I like those body shots. Tom, that's it, baby. Here we go. Ese vato, ese vato no es zurdo. Ya, ya comenzó con más porque la pelea se la está disfrutando, ¿viste? Vamos. Ahora lo que tiene que hacer, trabajar más el cuerpo. Todo lo que tiene que hacer, matar más el cuerpo, ¿viste? Va. Vamos, vamos, el cuerpo. ¿Cómo está? Estoy en el tanque, en el tanque, en el tanque. Está bien, está bien, está bien, no es nada, no es nada. And here we see Madrimov with a right, left, right hook combination that caught Gonzalez around the glove. Whenever you're dealing with these veterans that know how to block punches, you got to come around the gloves. Move the body, then switch it up, okay? Seconds out! Seconds out! What were they telling Gonzalez in his corner, Sergio? Marcos Rodriguez in Gonzalez's corner. They like what they saw. They said, listen, when he turns southpaw, you got to attack him in between that, that, that style change. But they like what they saw right there. They want to get more combinations. Go towards them. Attack. Stop, stop, stop. Stop pulling down on the head. Okay. All right, let's not do that. Box. Gonzalez has lost four of his last five, but three of those losses came against unbeaten blue chip prospects, two of whom were Olympic medalists. So yes, he is a gatekeeper, Sergio. Yes, he is. He's a tough gatekeeper. Can take a lot of punishment. Not really that good at dishing it out, or so it seems in this fight. But he is scoring points. Yeah, in the last round he was scoring points, and I think that's Whoa, what his corner saw. A left hook connected there from Madrima, and now Gonzalez on the back foot. Watch some hands, watch the hands. 
And this is when I think Madrimov is more effective when he's loose and bouncing and punching from every angle. It's the angles that are going to catch Gonzalez off guard. He's fighting out of the southpaw position. Instead of the left hook, he's going to have a straight left hand. This is my dream of right here. When he's punching, when he's not thinking, he's just punching off of instinct. Any angle, it's the angles that make him dangerous. Awkward styles and angles. Good body shots there by Gonzalez. There's a combination, a leaping right hand. Literally, Madrimov jumped to land that punch. Yeah, Gonzalez at 38 years old. I don't know if he can keep up with the activity of Madrimov. Right now, he's nice and loose, and a loose fighter is a dangerous fighter. Madrimov not at all worried about what Gonzalez is going to throw back at him. It's those kind of punches right there, which are going to do absolutely no damage. Boy, this wild style is working out for Madrimov. It's not wild, Todd. It's calculated. And here's what I meant by loose. He's punching from a southpaw angle. Straight left to the body, nice right hook. He missed and fell off balance. But he was able to get back on his feet, get his timing back, get his distance, and land some good shots there. A little sloppy, but still effective by Madrimov. Let's go. I said it was a wild style. You said it was calculated, Sergio. Do you mean to tell me that leaping right hand is something that he practices on the bag with his trainers every week? Well, I think he does. I think he practices a lot. I mean, this is a man that when he's not boxing, he's a gymnast. He practices judo, tennis player. So, yes, good check hook there by Madrimov. That caught Gonzalez's attention. It seems like this might be the round that Gonzalez goes down, but that was ruled a slip. Slip. Look at us. You can just see it on the face of Gonzalez. He looks like a beaten man right Box. now. Gonzalez's body language is telling me the same thing, Todd. And this is a man who's only been uh, down five times in his career. Knocked down by Lubin, Charlo, Oliveira, Udell Johnson. Some big names have put him down. He might be able to add Madrimov to that list. Watch the shoulder. Couple clubbing left, set up the right. Gonzalez may be ready to go here. Keep in mind, he fought just nine days ago and then had to travel here from Mexico. He is damaged goods. Right here, I would love to see my dream of you speed and combinations. He forced the referee, Sean Clark, to stop this fight, but it has to be speed because right now the body language of Gonzalez is not good. Does the demon have anything left? <laughs> Round five scheduled for 10. Does not look like it's going to go the distance. Oh, a right hand on the way in lands. 
deep breath for Gonzalez. Watch some heads. Talk about putting everything into a left hook. Dreamoff almost swung out of his own skin. Keep him up, keep him up. Matt Dreamoff is southpaw again, and this time the entire round he's southpaw. He must have found success with that right hook that he's barely missing right now. So Gonzalez survives to live another round. ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Bien? ¿Bien? Ok, mire. Escúchame, el vato se te está aventando mucho. No. Tiene que contragolpearlo. ¿Se siente bien? Sí. Tiene el golpe. No lo deje hacer. No lo deje hacer. Vamos, vamos. ¿Cómo se siente, champ? ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Todo bien? Vivo, viejo, vivo. No lo deje que crezca. ¿Bien? ¿Se siente bien, viejo? Let's go, let's go. Vamos a ir, vamos a ir. Muévase. Ya vamos a mermar. El vato, el vato se avienta muy feo, güey. He lunges in too much. Catch him when he's lunging in. El vato se siente, güey. Vamos, vamos. Va. ¿Cómo se siente? Tiene más golpes. Aprende los golpes. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Let's go. Hey, cuando está, cuando hace, cuando hace fallar, se queda abierto. Súbalo con otro cara. When he misses, that's when he's vulnerable. Punch when he misses. Okay. Hey, hey, they want to stop him, Alright, let him know you gotta, gotta get out of the way to punch us. Time in! So they're taking a close look at Gonzalez. They don't like what they're seeing. He's taking a lot of abuse here, Sergio. No, they don't like what they're seeing, but apparently Marcos Rodriguez in Gonzalez's corner is the only one that likes what he's seeing. Oh, good he's encouraging uppercut. his man. Good uppercut. Gonzalez nods. Blood now pouring out of his nose, it seems. Gonzalez, a 38-year-old war horse, 36 pro fights. Been in there with some big names, some Olympic champions. But Madrimov appears to be just too much. A body shot. Gonzalez covering up. They may stop it here. And Madrimov exercises the demon at Madison Square Garden. And there's his gymnastics background. Sometimes you need someone outside the corner to save the fighter. And that man was Sean Clark, the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. 49 seconds round number six. Referee Sean Clark steps in and puts a halt to the bout. For your winner by TKO, he is still undefeated. Israel, the dream, the dream And here are the highlights of the fight. It was all Matt Dreamoff. Good right hand right there. Early in the fight, Gonzalez was able to take those shots. But later in rounds two, three, four, and in the middle rounds, they wanted more body shots out of my dream off. And ultimately, that's what took the tough Mexican veteran out. Good body shots like that, straight to the gut. Open up up top. Solid left hand right there, but it was the body shots that Joel Diaz wanted from Israel Madrimov, and he got it. Because when you're dealing with these tough veterans, it's the body that's gonna stop them. There's a left hook, that hurt him right there. That began the combinations, and it forced the referee, Sean Clark, to stop this fight.